Variables are one of the most powerful tools available to designers in Onshape. In this course, we'll learn how to leverage variables to bring additional intelligence and automation to designs. Use variables to drive key dimensions or parameters within a part studio. An entire design. or combine variables with expressions to bring a higher level of automation to a design. Design changes can also be made more quickly by adjusting the values of variables, rather than modifying multiple individual dimensions or parameters. Keep variables simple for straightforward use cases, utilize expressions for more advanced cases, or take advantage of advanced syntax with arrays and logic operators. Global variables are available through the use of variable studios and can be referenced in assemblies and multiple linked documents. Finally, configurations can take advantage of variables for multiple design variations. Variables can either be assigned a value or use a measured value from geometry within the part studio. In this first video, we'll focus on assigned variables. The next video will cover measured variables. To create a variable, select the variable feature from the feature toolbar in a part studio. In addition to being assigned or measured, variables can also represent lengths, angles, or numbers without units. An additional variable type, any, allows any of the previous types as well as unitless values or feature script values. Special care should be taken when assigning units to variables. Numeric fields in Onshape require units to the first degree. If units are not matched in type or result in units of a higher degree, the feature or expression fails. Select the variable type and enter a name for the variable. The name may only use English letters and numbers. In addition, the name must contain at least one English letter followed by letters, numbers, or both. It should also be noted that variables are case sensitive. Enter a numeric value using decimal, integer, or fraction values, and optionally add a description for the variable. When descriptions are used properly, it's much easier to understand a variable's design intent when revisiting a document or collaborating with other users. Click the green check mark to accept the variable. A variable feature is added to the feature list. The location of this variable feature within the feature list is important as features in a feature list are order dependent. Features that precede the variable feature cannot make use of the variable. Once variables are created, their values are shown next to the feature in the feature list. These variables are also visible in the variable table. The variable table allows for quick and easy modification of variables in one convenient location. When the value of a variable is modified, the new value is automatically propagated to all locations the variable is used. If the name of a variable is modified, a checkbox to update all references is displayed and forces all dimensions or parameters that reference the variable to reference the new name. New variables can also be added to the table by entering their parameters in the last row of the table. Note, variables created from the variable table are added to the bottom of the feature list or above the rollback bar. If they are to be used within previously created features, they need to be dragged above those features in the feature list. Throughout the rest of this course, we will examine how variables can make the design process easier and more flexible. We will also learn how they can combine with expressions to serve as a powerful tool to help automate the design process.